Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the channel. StrangeNet here. So if you haven't noticed, Reddit is on fire at the moment, and that is because the Mitanni has stepped down from the leader of Goon Swarm. So the Mitanni is possibly the biggest, most well-known character in EVE Online um, for previous controversies and being, again, the leader of Goon Swarm. Now, again, I don't want to get into the ins and outs of how we've gotten here, really. Um, I don't want to pour fuel on the fire and the rest of it. What I want to look at is what happens to goons now and where did goons go from here, really? So with the Mitanni stepping back, what does this mean for the goons? Because the Mitanni is kind of the figurehead. He's the, the the person everybody knows within goons. He's he's the leader, but he, he takes a, a semi-active role in regards to actually managing the alliance so with him not at the helm anymore will this be a, a big issue for goons because obviously you know he pulls a lot of the strings and is a big colorful character that you know people get behind and rally behind and you know they make fleets he was probably the one of the bigger factors in world war b one and two for keeping the alliances together keeping people pushing morale up and so you know it's a it's a loss um, to goons, most certainly. Um, but whether he's quitting the game is entirely different to obviously stepping down and how big a role he may continue to have in goons. Um, because I find it hard to believe that he's just going to quit entirely. It's been obviously, either has been a big part of his life, better or worse, um, speculate, speculate away. But um, yeah, how will goons manage without, so say, their, uh, their figurehead? And again, you know. Depends on which side of the fence you sit on, whether the Mitanni is the, uh, the evil emperor or whether he's the messiah. Um, and again, I think it's good for Eve to have, you know, characters like that. Um, and again, I, I have no ill feelings towards goons. Um, in fact, I quite like goons on the fact that, you know, they keep, they're a big alliance, they keep PR, uh, PH in check and vice versa. But I, and I think the collapse of goons would be detrimental to the game all round. Um, now, I'm not a huge fan of massive alliances, but the two biggest alliances in game kind of cancel each other out. And although they are on the opposite side of the universe, it does create a lot of drama. There have been some interesting episodes, etc. And I think the game would be a poorer place without goons, generally. Now, obviously, there is speculation that Mitanni will just pull the strings behind the scenes. Would that be enough for him? I don't know. Again, he does like to seem to be involved. I do like to watch the meta show. I do enjoy a lot of commentary. And a lot of the things he says, um, you know, in regards to the NFTs, um, he had a good pitch a couple of months ago in regards to that. And I completely agree with the fact that we don't want NFTs in EVE and we don't want uh, pay to play, pay, play to pay. Um, but that, again, doesn't have any place in EVE. And although, you know, he does rant and rave, um, it is entertaining. It can be quite fun to watch. And, you know, the Meta Show is obviously goon-based and a little bit of goon propaganda. There are some very interesting things that come out of it. And again, you know, hopefully, well, CCP does take notice and some good comes out of it. So despite all the things, you know, that's that's gone on, that, you know, the Matani and the rest of them have had a big influence within EVE. And again, it'll be a shame to see such a colourful character not quite in the limelight as much. So that brings us on to, you know, can Goon survive without the Matani as their leader or their head honcho or their, uh, their figurehead, you know, and uh, I don't know. I'd like to think so, but again, it's, you know, I don't want to see Goons just go out with kind of a whimper and I don't know what they'll do from this point and how they'll get on from here. But again, I'd, I'd hate to see them just kind of fizzle out as corpse leave and this, that and the other. And whether they do or not, I don't know. You know, again, it's speculation. Uh, but again, I imagine that some people, corpse, etc., will be distancing themselves from this um, substantially. And again, you can read all about it on the uh, the um, Eve uh, Reddit forums. I'm not going to go into the ins and outs again at the end of the day. I don't really care. I don't generally cover politics. I'm only covering this because, as I say, the Matani is a, a huge character within Eve Online, and this is a big revelation, really. But, um, yeah, can goons continue without him? Um, now, again, I'm not de debating or disputing the fact that they have very capable people of leading the alliance. It's whether the basis of goons has been broken, the back has been broken from this. And again, I'd like, 
like to see something come from this, whether it be a, another big war, a big push to get everybody and goons behind one another and to get everybody rallied together under new leadership, potentially, I guess, and see how they get on from there. And again, I like to see wars. It's good for the game. Helps everybody come together fighting. Um, helps industry, which is always a good thing. And obviously lots of destruction gets people back into the game, which Eve definitely needs at the moment because it is a... A bit of a shadow of its former self at the moment, so a good big war to get everybody riled up could definitely be a good thing all round for Eve. And yeah, I think that's where I'm going to wrap this video up. So again, I just wanted to cover the fact that obviously this is huge news for the game um, and goons in general. And I want just everybody's opinion on you know how goons are going to fare from here. As I've never been in goons, a lot of what I've just said is all speculation on my part. Again, I don't know the internal politics particularly well of goons. Um, and the rest of it and how well managed they are um, and how big a part the Mitanni really plays. But um, yeah, if anyone's got any interior knowledge, then by all means, please share that. I'd be interested to read your comments. So with that, thanks for your time. Thanks for listening. Remember this day, the 15th of July. And with that, I'll talk to you again soon.